Okay, forms are all leveled up. So next will be uh, plastic and rebar. Just thought I'd take a minute to show you our the inside of our trailer, equipment trailer. Um, we have it pretty much loaded right now for concrete. We had the rebar in here, all the forms. Um, we have our concrete boots, everything we need for pouring concrete. So after we pour that today, we'll, we'll get rid of the power trowel and the power screed. So we have room to get in and out. Um, it's not too bad of a mess right now. You want to take a peek? You can see our step ladders on this side. Extension ladders. Keep a lot of the hand power tools over there. All our nail guns. Air hoses, electric cords. We got all the concrete poured. We're just doing a few little final touch-ups and then we'll let it harden, cure it so that we can get on it with a power trowel. This is, uh, this 10 feet wide by 24 feet deep is going to be a carport. Uh, they're going to do the roof later on. We're just pouring the concrete um, <clears throat> but I'd like to give them a nice nice edge around here. So we're using a, an edger. It's just, this is brass, so it works really well uh, on the concrete. Just got a little edge here, so you can see it defining, defining that. You just kind of, you have to work it several times through the curing process. Concrete takes a lot of patience. <laughs> Wish I had some. The concrete came uh, about an hour late. They had one driver got stung by a bee. Turns out he's allergic to it. Uh, puffed up and got woozy, had to go to the hospital. So it made him short of drivers again. Which means we'll be working another hour later today. Kind of a beautiful day, sort of. It's raining. We are loading walls to go up and um, set up today. We'll go up and strip the forms off the concrete as well. Should be a fun day if we don't get rained out. I guess this is the this rain is the precursor to the hurricane stuff from down south.
doing shiplap is a little different. No sheathing, just blocking. And we're going to level the wall first. What do you want me to do? Nail it? Oh, I'll just pin it at the bottom first. All right, so we got rained out yesterday. We got maybe half a day put in. Uh, looks like a nicer day today. We're doing the putting bracing coming down in all corners to tie this off because we're using shiplap. Uh, so shiplap doesn't have any strength this way. So that's why even putting all the blocking in has helped out a lot. But we need to have um, that bracing coming down. I've already cut this first one. Just fits right in there like that. We'll carry that right down through. Sounds like we have shiplap siding arriving. I was hoping it would come so that we could do it before uh, we did the trusses. My dream came true. <laughs> So we've set up kind of a cutting station. We're cutting a whole bunch of eight footers for the two eaves sides. Then they'll all be one piece and then the back and the front will piece in as we go. We're setting aside 16 footers and 14 footers for the, uh, the gable ends. So we can do those, try to do them in one piece. We have everything, all the blocking done. All the uh, bracing diagonally. We're uh, going to put in this window now. We've got the house wrap on, getting it ready for the shiplap. So we'll cut the window opening out. Yep, that looks good. Okay, I think we're all set up. We'll be using a spacer along the concrete to keep that, keep the board from touching the concrete so that the water doesn't wick up if it gets there. So that'll keep it dry. It'll only come up against the pressure treated. And it begins.
We're cutting boards now for the, the back wall, the gable end on the back with the angle on it. And again, we know we know the truss uh, degrees, the angle, the pitch. So all we have to do is cut it at a 22 and a half degree angle. And each board, we'll just add uh, to the measurement each time. And we'll be able to go all the way across. Then we, we have the trusses. Uh, so then we'll be able to put them up probably tomorrow. And it's a little windy. Uh, let me show you something. That's a multi-purpose tool right there. <laughs> this is blown over a couple of times. All right, let's put some stuff up. Stuff. It's shiplap boards. So this one, I, I ripped it down and cut the 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 tongue off, so to speak. Sounds painful, but we this way it'll match this, um, so you won't need a corner board. There you have it. Uh, this is the end of part one. Stay tuned. Uh, there'll be a second part, and that should do it on this one. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks.